Rightigo, this is the radios that we use. This is the Tyrannus. This is a two hundred dollar radio. It's probably one of the best radios on the market. Switch warning. This thing Acro mode on. talks here. This is just with the standard two point four. Um, what we're going to do is just basically go through the three settings on the on the flicker or for, on the Nuzzer V2. And what we do is this switch here. Attitude this is mode. this attitude hold. GPS mode. GPS mode. Acro mode on. And this is acro mode. This is no um, stability, no nothing. You fly it just by hand. And there's times when you want to do that, but. Most times, attitude mode. in attitude mode, what that's going to do is it's going to keep the machine flat, but it's not going to not going to keep it in one place. GPS mode. And then we have GPS mode. That's where I like to fly it. It's a bit, it's docile. The good thing about it is when you lift the throttle, anything from halfway and down will bring the machine down. Anything from halfway and up will take it up. So you're going to be flying it most of the time on mid, mid throttle. And so when you go to take off, you get nothing. You push it up to halfway, nothing's going to happen. You're going to go a fly's tit above half, and it'll take over. So we'll set the, the thing up now and get it flying and show you what we're going to do. Okay, rule number one, always turn the radio on before you turn the machine on. Because if it gets a head full of shit and powers up straight away, which is very rare, but it has happened... Okay, plug it in, same as we've done with the Zhugong, we're going to sit here now, wait for it to find some satellites, we can probably see that LED flashing away in there. When there's three red flash, that means it's got hasn't got enough for a set, now it's got two, so it's got some satellites, but we want to wait for green. We're getting close. As I said before, if you rush this bit and it flies away, that's your own fault. There we go. We've got satellites. Now, this is what you do to arm it. First of all, we're going to put it in GPS mode. That's where I want to fly. I want to take off in GPS mode. So what I'm going to do is get rid of the dogs. All right? There we go. Now, as you'll see with the stick, nothing's happening. There we are. We're just on the halfway mark. And there we are. This probably needs a little bit of forward trim. It wants to come towards me a bit, but... As you can see, very, very quiet because of the slower prop. Very docile. Fly it away, let go the stick, and it should stop there. I'm doing absolutely nothing with it. It's just going to hold there. I've got the sun on my face, so this is a shit of a place to fly. We can go up again. We'll just go up a few feet, bring it back to halfway. There we go, see the sticks in the middle? And we're hovering. Now, we can rotate on the spot. And you can see we moved maybe half a meter and it's gone back to where it was. We'll rotate the other way. Let it go. If we want to land, See, we just bring it down just a bit below halfway and we can see the machine's going to come down. And it'll come down super slow. Or we can flick it back to the middle. And there we go. We've got it holding altitude. And I'll just creep it back with a bit of rear elevator. And there we go. 
is just very, very stable, exceptionally quiet. You see it's creeping up and down, you know, it's creeping up 300, 30 centimetres, 40 centimetres. And as the battery gets down, it will actually sink a little bit because you need a little bit more power. But okay, very, very stable. Fly it down the far end of the paddock there. Just let the stick go. Whoop. And it's gonna stay there. Okay, we want you to come home, baby. Back it comes. We'll bring you down a little bit at the same time. Same thing. Lower it down. Whoop, back to the middle. We'll hover. There we go. I mean, it's sitting right in front of us. These are Sunny Sky 600 kVA motors. They're running on 4S, 4 cells, so we're getting about 6,000, 5,000 RPM. And then our current draw on this at the moment is probably about 18 amps, maybe 15. The machine is very, very light, very stable. So we can bring it right in here. I don't recommend to do this for a long time, but I mean, you can bring it right in, put it right in your face, and it's just, just sits there. So there we go, folks. And we'll bring it back. Now we'll land it like a butterfly with four feet. Simple as that, all done in GPS mode. Okay, we're gonna try and do some range testing here. We had some trouble last week with one of these things flying out of radio range and it came home on its own but it's not a good feeling when it does that so we're going to fly over by that antenna in the background there probably another mile past that quite a long way out and see if we can uh, ¿Dónde está? Ah, well there. Battery's a bit low, so we'll bring it back and put a new battery in. Sun's in the face. Home. battery in here just to be sure
controller, they're a pleasure to fly with. And I'll show you some other ones that we've got here later on, but uh, the NASA by far is, is my choice. So if you've got to spend another hundred dollars, this is the this is the Zugong. This is a magic frame. I mean, this thing you just push these little buttons down here and the f arms fold up. Like so. And that's what you end up with is this little package. And that fits in in one of these one of these Chinese Pelican knockoff cases. Let me turn the camera off. We'll steal the video off that later on to put some of that in here. There you go. Close the door and where you go.